Hi and welcome to a new modern league. As you know, I'm focusing on getting the best Mardu energy list. But some friends of mine told me that Arbacta's Shadow won a challenge. And I want to try this list. It's kind of similar to the one I put together in the early weeks of Modern Horizon 3. Obviously, this is more updated. It has some answer to energy and to the top decks. So it's looking really, really interesting, really good. We have 18 lands. We have 26 one draws, but likely chalice of the void is not that popular right now so i'm not too scared about that and the true mvp of this list is going to be detective phoenix an amazing card for shells like these you just get a 2-2 flying for a three mana but that's not it we can just cast it for bestow so we turn this creature into an enchantment and we give plus two plus two and flying and haste to one of our creatures and we can bestow from the graveyard so we're just going to cycle away these cards feed the nether goy feed delirium and then we can just play a shadow nether goy give it ace and basically win the game so without further ado let's jump into the league okay we are on the draw i think this is a good end though we can go turn one volcanic fissure we're against merfolks Okay, I was not expecting Merfolk to be my first match of this league. We have a lot of removals though. We kind of need to be conservative with the life total though. Okay, this goes to the graveyard. Uh, I'm fine drawing now. Better vial. We have a lot of removal spells, so we just need to find one of those. They could go for something like Ether Vial, top of my land, upkeep. They're attacking me. Interesting. We're going to take. I kind of want to keep Street Wraith for my Inti. Trickster. Okay. Ooh. Nether Goyf. Should I play a Nether Goyf? That's a good blocker. I think I want to go for Survey Land Nether Goyf. And Detective Phoenix already getting us to Delirium and pumping the Nether Goyf so much is so good. Okay. They're not attacking. That's good. They're likely going to top one of my lands. Okay, sure. Uh, do we cycle now? Because I could draw a removal spell and I kind of want to cast it. Molten Collapse. Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. So we go for Basic. And now we can Molten Collapse. And I think I want to pressure them. Uh, yeah, I don't need a Thought Seize. Eight damage to you. Next turn, we can go for Nether Goy plus Phoenix, and that should be lethal. We could even just go for Sundering Eruption. <clears throat> oh, wow, they are attacking. Mm, and they concede. Okay, that's fine. So we want Pyroclasm. I think that's going to be good. Another Multi Collapse. Toxic Deluge. Uh, I am not a huge fan of Thoughtseize in this matchup. They have a lot of counter spells, that's true. But I think we can just pressure them and ignore any any counter they have. Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay, we have removal spells, sweet wraith. Yeah, I think this is a keep. Okay. Yeah, cutting knee and spell bomb was not a bad choice. Uh so we go Mishra's Bubble, myself, another land. I want that land, so I'm going to cycle now. And then I'm going to fetch shock for Nether Goyf. Toxic Deluge. They cannot go for a trickster. I don't like playing this int into my own Pyroclasm. I think I'm just going to talk for now. And then I might want to play Shadow as a 1-1. One -one. And we keep Tar Fire. Yeah, I think so. What could they have here for one mana? I mean they cannot spell snare my shadow. X catcher. Do I care about this X catcher? Not right now, right? I can just wait. They could have double lord, that would be annoying. But if they go double lord, then we go pyroplasm or something like that, and that should be game. Okay, this resolves. Another lord. So I must kill the X catcher now. I mean, I'm just going to try. They're going to suck their mutable to keep. The X catch around, but then we have Toxic Deluge, hopefully. They're not going to block. Okay, nice. It's true that they are going to suck one of their lords, though. 
Uh, that's annoying. I'm kind of scared of any spreading seas, right? Maybe I should just attack with one of my creatures. I mean, if I go Toxic Deluge for a 3 mana, they're just going to suck one of their lords. So they're going to lose a lot of power. And maybe that's right. And going down to 5, then we have 2 blockers. They could still be dead to any spreading seas, though. But I think that's kind of okay. That's him. And maybe I had to kill the Vodalian Excatcher the first turn, but then they would have got their mutable up. So with double lord. But I had Toxic Deluge. Yeah, maybe that was the right choice. Yeah, sure. Okay. Should I attack? I don't think so. I'm just going to pass the turn. But if I attack now, a block one, take two, I, I shouldn't be dead if I attack. And I'm still dead if they go spreading seas. I don't think that they have double lord again. So I'm going to attack. Because next turn we can give trample to the shadow. And maybe that's good enough to win. If they have double lord again, that's just game. That's fine. Okay, up to three. Two cards remaining. One is this Vieloon, I think. Otherwise, there, there is no real reason to... Oh, they could have Harbinger of the Seas. They have nothing. That's good. That's just game, right? I mean, I think my shadow is going to fly. But sadly, I have to take... Uh, is it better to leave Tarfire and take Toxic Deluge? I think so. Nah, they have an answer. Please don't. What could they have? Okay. Hmm. So their last card is um is Vieron, right? So I must go for a creature this turn. Otherwise I'm kinda dead. And we pass the turn. I could attack again, but they're not going to die. They're going down to one. We block block. Take five or take three if we block this Vieron. I think I'm fine not attacking this turn. And we should be able to set up... Okay, no Svealon. Okay. Another land. But they're going to cast the one ring now. Oh, they conceded. Okay. Yeah, the Molten Collapse. They have Arbinger and Stern Scolding. Okay, so Arbinger is actually what they're going to draw. Next turn, they had a Stern Scolding in their hand. That was kind of scary. But this was still little, right? We give... Trample, they have to chum block, we kill one, we attack with all, yeah. Okay, this time we are on the play. And I think this end is looking okay. Devourer of Destiny. Okay, so with a Devourer of Destiny, that means we kind of have to go past. I'm going to play another Gorf turn one and pass a turn. We don't have much main deck, we have two Blood Moons in the sideboard and two Dumping Spheres. And to break the ice, okay, okay. I like where this is going. And exciting labyrinth, forest, and talisman. So they have another labyrinth, right? Maybe not. They have one ancient steering stone one. Utopia sprawl. Okay. We have molten collapse to get rid of the Utopia sprawl. Not, the, not that I'm going to do that now, but still, it's an option. I think I'm going to cycle. Oosh, that's a useless card. Let's cycle again. And now I'm going to cast Inti. And I'm going to discard that Spellbone, which is useless, just to push one more damage. Two more damage, actually. Our Fire Exile, that's kind of sad. Next turn, we have a lot of damage. We have six, nine, ten damage. Can we kill them? Thought Seize is not a bad card, actually. I'm going to Thought Seize them first. F. Four mana for a Drazi, three mana total. For anything else, they could have Kozilex return. Next side into. Sure. That's so annoying. Uh, so we are going to get rid of the ring. And they have two, four, five, six mana. They can cast Devourer of Destiny next turn. Let's kill one of these two, which I'm likely going to do. I could also look for my Phoenix, which is not going to be good enough to kill them, but still. I kind of want to, to put the Phoenix in the graveyard anyway. 
So you're going to push one of these two, right? Four, five, six with one of these two. They need something like another labyrinth or another temple because the power. So yeah, we attack, they take, we push, and hopefully I'm getting something good next turn. Shadow. Is shadow good enough? It's not bad, but yeah, let's let's keep another threat. So I don't think that they're going to block, they need mana. I'm going to push this one, they take six. Now they play a land. Oh, that's not a land. Stop his prowl again. Talisman. So I cannot stop them from casting the devourer next turn. Let's attack. I mean, even if I kill this one, they take six damage. That's true, but they have three, six, seven mana, no matter what. And if they choose not to block, they are dead. So I think it's better to just attack like this. Let's play a shadow and pass the turn. To veil away a labyrinth. Now they go for devour and they're going to get rid of my nether goif, I think. Yeah, nether goif is gone. I could attack and bolt myself if they choose to block or bolt them. So I think that the right choice is just attack. Yeah, I think we're just going to attack. They need a good top deck now. I'm going to keep my land here. They could. Copy until uh, copy the turn okay, until end of turn. They're going to clone the one ring. Now nah, don't tell me you got another one. <laughs> okay, you got an Emrakul. Uh that's kinda good. You got an Emrakul. <laughs> so we lose the shadow. Ooh, we had a Phoenix. So they're going to cast for Bestow, exiling all my graveyard. Oh, they're going to target their own Emrakul. Sure, that makes sense. So this is protection from instant, so I could draw Molten Collapse or Inti. Yeah, we are dead. Tell them. We want Dumping Sphere, we want Blood Moon, we want Break the Ice, we want Surgical. I'm not sure about that. I don't think I want Spell Bomb Push. And then... I think Molten Collapse seems okay instead of uh, an Audit. And Inti doesn't seem too bad. Because at least we can push damage through the Eldrazi spawn. Yeah, maybe that's a good card to have. Maybe I should just cut our fire and bolt. Let's cut one in team. Okay, this is a good keep. We go bubble, bubble myself. I want a Ragavan. I don't like that card. I need Ragavan or Thoughtseize. Roller. Okay, your turn. Another Street Wraith. Okay, that's good. And they're ramping up mana already. Your scene. Okay, so we cycle. Toad sees, that's good. I play Bogart Bog, and then I go Shadow DRC, pass the turn. Then we go Bloodmon, Toad sees Bolt, let's see. Train Sphere, okay. We just go Bloodmon now. I think it's good to go Bloodmon. Artifact, we already have an artifact. I don't need another Dumping Sphere though. Rumble. And they take Talisman. They just go Thought Seize. I think I should go Thought Seize. Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. I like the Phoenix in the graveyard. Sure, why not? Uh, they have a lot of Oslex command though. Do I want to go Detective's Phoenix on my Shadow? I think I kind of want to. Oh yeah, I cannot because Bisto is still a cost. Sure. Okay, okay. We just attack them. They take everything. That's interesting. Sure. Talisman. And they have four mana available. They can just go into attack, right? And then they're going to exile the DRC. Sure. Makes sense. And they scry two, then draw a card. Do I need to scry one? I don't think so. That's okay. That's fine. We still have um lethal threat into play. They have one, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Even if they go for a devourer, now it's too late. Sure. Just go bolt bolt and win the game. Okay. Third game. We don't have many artifacts, removal spells. We just have molten collapse, which is not good enough at killing talismans and anything like that, really. We can get rid of Utopia Sprawl, that's true, but not that it's going to help us a lot. I think this is fine. I don't have anything else to side in. Okay, we have removal for a land. We don't have much else going on though. 
I think I should take a mulligan. We need to be faster. Yeah, this is better. We keep. And I think that I should bottom Detectives Phoenix. Go turn one. Ooh, we'll for the temple already. Oh, that's so scary. I kind of wanted to go DRC, but they could have they could have K command or Thought Not Seer or anything like that. They should go Thought Seer. Yeah. They have K command. They have Trini Sphere and they have the one ring. I think we are just dead. <laughs> Because I have to take the Trini Sphere, otherwise I'm not able to play anymore. But K Command is so scary. Maybe I just take K Command and they go Trini Sphere next turn and we lose. I don't like that plan, honestly. We have no answer for Trini Sphere. But they should then be able to cast it next turn and then maybe we are just going to slowly get to a point where we can win. Because K Command is just going to exile my thing. And they're going to cast the one ring and we lose no matter what. But if they miss the seven mana spell, then they cannot go for a Trini Sphere. And then we might have a chance to win with just this DRC. This is so risky, but I I think it's the right choice. If they manage to go Trini Sphere this turn, that's just game. Go Rumble and they choose the one ring again. So this is their hand right now, right? Minus Kickman. And we got the second land. So Trini Sphere is online next turn, no matter what. And I think we're still going for DRC, fetch, get a basic swamp is fine, and bubble. And the third land, it's kind of needed here. Next turn, they go the one bring. She's not great. The temple, four mana, the one bring. How do we win against the one bring? We don't have work show masters. We have a bolt that's good, I guess. So this is going to be a survey land. I'm just going to pass the turn and then we alt them as soon as they cast Trini Sphere. They go land talisman Trini Sphere this turn. Sure. Labyrinth, sure. Nothing to exile. Street Wraith, no thank you. Bolt face. We have a lot of damage though. Hello. No. I mean, we have 8 damage, 9 with their own ring, 10 with their own ring, so we just need like double bolt. Break the ice. That's not bad, right? Let's attack. Next turn, they go 1 ring again. So they go down to 6, and then they go 1 ring, and they pass the turn. Because they don't have much mana. Okay, never mind, sorry. They had a world breaker. Okay? This way they cannot cast, yeah, they can cast the one ring, but the temple, sure. The ring is gone, one ring is gone. We just know about the Drazi temple in their hand. Bloodman? Mm, I think I want to cycle. Nah, not, not right now. We're just going to pass a turn. This is so risky if they have, if they have a, all this dust, we're just dead. But I cannot wait because they have three spheres, so I'm not able to cast double spell in a, in a turn anyway. We're down to five. Ten cards in their hand. I hate the one ring so much. It's such a bad designed card. They could have a Devourer of Destiny, maybe. Or is this just a Micro Spawn? Can they cast the Emrakul already? No, it's just a Micro Spawn. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Take my basic swamp, sure. Are they going to cast another one ring? It's likely, right? That's so annoying. I have protection. What am I looking for? I mean, I'm going to excel it with Inti. I could get Blood Moon. So let's do that. Let's draw two. Yes, we're just going to play another DRC and go. No, I'm not going to do that. We're down to four. They're looking for the fourth copy of the One Ring or All this Dust or even Emrakul. I mean, Emrakul is not good enough, actually. Yeah, they are going to draw two. They have the One Ring, so... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they can cast Emrakul if they want to. Ancient Steerings, they're looking for something. Kozilek's Command, okay. Oh, are they going to die? It's kind of funny because they have so many cards in their hand and yet they have nothing to... Help them survive. They're likely going to cast a really huge K command now and look for their answer. Yeah, they accept the nether guy and they make a blocker. What is this? Or and there's the Emrakul. I mean they can cast only one of my spells, which is likely going to be molten collapse on one of my creatures. 
And then they're going to fetch Miss. And we could still draw Tarfire. Do we still have Tarfire? No, we can just draw Bolt. We have two Bolts. To discard my Nether Goyf. Another Molten Collapse. I'm so sad about that. Are they not going to take three? I have no instant speed removal. I think that I made a mistake. Hmm, there's down to one with a one ring. That's okay. I mean, sure, they kill my DRC, but how can they survive the one ring? Eastern speed. They shouldn't have an answer, right? And they let me throw that one, sure. I think I'm missing something, but whatever. Let's see. They're not playing consigned to memory, right? And even if they do, they have a talisman, which is not a good... Oh, they have something. Four mana, what do you have? I don't get it, but that's okay. Okay, we're on the play. We don't have nothing to do on turn one, so I think this should be a mulligan, right? I'm not going to mulligan again, but I'm not too happy about this hand. Turn one we go. Mishra's bubble, fetch land, active phoenix. I think we can do something better. Nether Goyf is fine. I'm still going to cast Tinti next turn, but Nether Goyf is not a bad card to have. DRC. Okay, we are going to bolt that and then we play Nether Goyf. Our fire. Even better. And we get our 4 5 for just one man on turn two. That sounds like a good creature. I could go for something like Survey Land into Delirium and all it. Mm, should I go for Inti? I feel like they are likely going to counter the Inti, and that means we are getting one more point of damage through. Yup. But now they do have Delirium, so Anolith is going to take care of my Nether Goyf. Expressive Vibration. Okay. I have no idea why, but. It's a Merc that is getting more and more popular, while Dimir Merc that is getting a lot less popular. And I still think that Dimir is kind of better. I mean, you play Psychic Frog, DRC, sure. That thing is going to die right now. We don't have an answer for the Merc Tide, but I mean, we have Lethal, so I should just go for that play. If they have a Force of Negation, and then a Merc died, we're going to be in much, much trouble. Okay. We need more answers to Merc died. And then I don't think we have nothing else. I could decide in a spell bomb. They are on the delirium plan. So that sounds okay. And usually Thoughtsis is not great against that deck. So maybe something like this is okay. It's also true that we have a Ragman. But Ragman is not that bad against Merc died. I think we are okay with just two thought seizes. Uh, do we like this end? I don't think so. I mean, we can ball the first fret and then we can play in T, but then we have two phoenixes, which are not great. Okay, this is better. We bought on this basics one, we want to take more damage. And we have a lot of answers, so hopefully they just go for, I don't know, Ragban, DRC. Maybe they are still playing Shredder, so they don't have a DRC. Do they have a Ragivan? Not Ragivan. Okay. Do they play a DRC now? It's likely for them to have uh it's likely for them to have a removal spell, but they fetch for basic island, so yeah, let's go for DRC. We need another threat because this DRC is not going to survive. Maybe we have too many push. But I mean we have to be to be sure to, to actually kill a Ragman on turn one, otherwise we are likely going to die. Maybe they decided to count the Ragvan because we could be playing Orkish Bowmasters. I got a shadow. So I cannot surveil. Because if I go for a surveil land, then the shadow is never going to come into play. I'm just going to attack. Let's see. I take one. Yeah, let's pass the turn then. They have a counter spell up. So they have a counter spell up and no removal spells, maybe. What did you keep? I think that they're playing around Orkish Bowmasters. Shredder? <laughs> what? Okay. And Ragvan. Okay, you're going to connive, my friend. You deserve that. And I'm going to push the Shredder. Surveil. I think I'm actually going to fetch first, though. Sweet Wraith. No, thank you. And then we push the Ragvan as well. Another Bolt. Hmm. I need a fetch land or a Nether Goyf now. Keeping the Sweet Wraith was kind of okay, because then we can play Shadow, but I think we need something better. Okay. 
Uh, we got the Sweet Wraith anyway. Okay, that's kind of good. Not getting into Delirium, but at least we have our Shadow into play. I could bolt them and try to reach Delirium. Uh, but they are playing so many creatures, I think that I should keep the bolt. Your turn. Worst case scenario, they go for land Merktide, and then we have no answer because multi club is not going to be good enough. Arbiter of the Seas, that would be okay. You ordain, sure. So they go Merktide into Spell Snare, and that means that we kind of have to trade the Shadow. Mm, that's not great. Okay. It's just a 6 6 though. I thought it was a 7 7, so we can just. Molten Collapse, and then attack, and we have a bolt to kill the Merktite with our Shadow. Okay, let's try to cast um, to cast Molten Collapse on the Merktite. Do we like this Inti? I don't hate it, but nah, let's, let's get rid of it. Okay, that was not what I was expecting. Do we have Lethal? This 7, 10, 13. Not likely going to die, so sure, why not? I'm going to die to a double bolt, and that's, that's kind of sad, but I only have one red mana. So they cannot go bolt, bolt in their own turn. If they have a bolt, they have to cast it now. No bolt, okay. That's good. I think this should be game then. Yeah, they conceded. Nice. Okay, we got them one off Ragvan, so yeah, sure. It's a one lander, but we have Ragman Mishra's bubble, so that's okay. Another island preordain. Two top, wow. I mean, we are still going to fetch Riot, so, you yeah, know, whatever. I'm going to take a look at their deck. Should I do that before casting the Ragman? Misty Rainforest. Okay, Ragman, it's your time to shine. Are you going to survive? Are we going to draw a land? Not land, but we have a lot of removal spells, so hopefully they're just going for a creature now. Hopefully a killable creature. Okay, still no land, but we don't have to worry. This dragon is going to connect. I'm quite sure of it. They're never going to cast an Orkish Bowmasters. Uh, sure, the dragon is dead. Match to draw a Bragman only in, in the worst possible matchup. And that's kind of funny. Your turn. Yup. At least we have an answer for the frog. I'm not too scared about that. And we have an answer for, for a lot of stuff, actually. We just need lands to be able to cast our own threats, though. Double blue is that a merc that already? 6-6 six, six merc died. Yeah, sure. We're going to kill that thing, right? I'm going to bolt face and then anoli it the merc time. And draw land. Never like, yeah. Okay. It was easier than expected. They wasted a lot of resources just to do that. We still have an answer for the frog. Sure. Land, please. I need you. Thank you. Push the frog away. Now we can finally get a creature into play. I mean, we already actually got the Ryan into play. Hopefully this one is going to stick though. Okay. Okay, now push. Please. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, hopefully they are out of creatures though. Eh, preordain. That's going to find them a creature, I think. Yep, indeed. I need another push then. The thing is, they are also playing Arbinger of the Seas. So I think I should just go for Inti and then pass the turn. And then we can fetch Shock and get the Death Shadow. Because if I play Death Shadow now, it's a bit riskier. Because then if they go for Arbinger, we're just dead, right? So this is 6-6. Six, six. We don't have that much damage. We don't have that much damage. But I mean, they are going to waste every single card in their hand if they want to make the frog survive. Which is not too bad, I guess. I think I'm fine doing that. Okay, man, let's go for a bolt. Counter spell. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's kind of fine. That's not too bad. Uh, I could excel their graveyard. And they cannot give flying to the frog. But I don't think I'm going to block this turn anyway. We have a spell snare. You do not. That's okay. No push, no spell snare. That's that's kind of fine. So we take this time. And then they have four cards. Yeah, they give flying. That's okay. Then we go spell bomb. They lose flying keyword on the psychic frog at least for a turn. 
We are actually going to pressure them. What is the scariest thing that could happen? Another Merkine? Farming the lock. Another Inti. Yeah, first of all, we are going to attack and discard Inti. But they have to do that. Push. Another land. That's fine. That's, that's still fine. Now I can go. So they have a 6-6 six, six into play. This is a basic swamp then. And we get back the Nether Goyf. Rexile creature, land, instant, and the art. And so they have to do this though. Because if they draw Merktai, that's going to be too scary. They had the force of negation. Wow. Sure. I mean, they wasted two cards though. So if they attack me now, I take four at best. And then they have two cards remaining. One card now. And they attack me with a three, four. And we are going to take a look at two cards. But I'm dead next turn if I don't find a card like this one. Why not? Let's say. Do we have a counter spell? If they have a counter spell, that's just game. Yeah, they give flying, sure. Okay, no answer for my troller. Two cards remaining in their hand. They could go discard, discard, flying, actually. So yeah, I'm still dead. Whatever. It was not good enough. Maybe they don't see the line. It's unlikely, but it could happen. I mean, they would... Oh, they have an Orch Bowmasters as well. Okay, okay, that's fine. I mean, they managed to see all four copies of Psychic Frog, which is obviously really good against us. So we want Molten Collapse, Spell Bomb is kind of okay, not the best, but it's okay. We want the Blood Moon. I don't think that they're expecting Blood Moon. I think it's fine. Surgical on a Frog or Merktide, it's kind of okay. Maybe they don't like Spell Bomb that much, though. I don't like Ragvan. We like Push. Bolt is not that good. Tarfire is not that good. Anolit is okay. I think we can cut Bolt. Uh, this is a good keep. I mean, turn one, they only have something like Push to get rid of my DRC. So I'm going to cast DRC and then DRC again, Thought says. Sure. Here, then is fine. I could even go for Inti, but I think it's better to go DRC, Thought says. Because we want to, to get rid of any, I don't know, frog or anything like that, really. Creature, graveyard, they need delirium now. It's done perfect. Push is a great card. I'm not going to say anything else, but we want delirium now. So, Orkish Bowmaster is not that scary. Push is annoying. Cling to dust is annoying as well, though. If I take the push, they cannot really go for Orkish Bowmasters plus. I mean, their next turn is going to be really bad if I take the push, right? They're just going to go cling. They're going to go cling. We need another type to survive the cling. But I don't really want to lose my, my DRCs. I'm going to take that one. And I want to draw a bubble. Bubble would be really good. Because if we draw a bubble or we surveil away a phoenix, they don't really have an answer to the DRCs. Okay, so hopefully they're going to... I should, I should play in team, right? I should play in team and discard Fell the Profane. And then if they exile Death Shadow, we can actually cycle away the Street Wraith and, and get Delirium back once again. They chose the Thought Seas. Okay, makes sense. We got a Street Wraith. Can I cycle the Street Wraith now? I cannot. Well, I'm still going to do that now. We got a bubble. Uh, I'm going to cast the bubble. Bolt. Bolt is not bad. I cannot crack the bubble though. If I crack bubble, they go Kipo Master Kid Inti. But then they are kind of dead. Yeah, whatever. Let's keep the bolt. I mean, whatever. If they want to kill the Inti, that's fine. We have 7 damage plus bolt. Okay. Just not to. Play Misty Rainforest. Crack it right away. Is this a Merc time? No, surveil. I mean, this could still be a Merktide, obviously. Uh, it's a Merktide, we have an answer, they have nothing else. They could have a force as their last unknown card. Graveyard. Graveyard. Dead. Nice. Uh, yeah, this is a good keep. We have double push, which is likely the best card we have in the matchup. I'm going to cycle Street Wraith turn one because I'm kind of scared of Orkish Bowmasters. Who top again? I'm not looking for more lands. I'm just going to fetch first. 
Then we go Sweet Wraith. And then we play Nether Gauge past turn. Hopefully they just play a frog. Okay, nice. Ooh, Thoughtseize as well. Okay, let's start with uh, Thoughtseize. Spellbomb, Murktide. Uh, I mean... Next turn they go Spellbomb, kill the Nether Gauge if they take the Murktide. But we don't really have an answer for the Murktide. We have Felder Profane, which is going to take a while to be online. We can play around Neil Spellbomb and Orkish. Not if they go Sorcery Speed. I mean, let's take the Murktide, whatever. If they waste two spells just to kill Nether Goyf, which is likely going to come back, that's okay. And they're also not able to cycle the Spellbomb if they go Spellbomb plus Orkish Bowmasters. And if they wait and do that, on my turn we have a push. We're going to make the Nether Goyf survive, or at least trade with the token. They do nothing. Nope. Then I should play in tier, right? That's so interesting. I cannot let these Orcish Bowmasters be solved. Let me play that card this turn. I feel like I should attack first, even though I'm not able to. Yeah, let's attack first. We're giving Trumble to Nether Goyf. That, that is the right choice. Let a push. Oh, that's annoying. Your turn. We are kind of low. I go consider. Okay, consider resolves. We are in our hand step, so I want to cycle the street rate now. Okay, we have a land drop for the next turn. We have push for the Orkish Bowmasters, but I'm super scared of Merc right now. Do we know their hand? No, we are missing one card. Please don't. Nah, they managed to draw Merc Tide. That is so good. Maybe not. What is this? It's a 6-6 six, six Merc Tide. We cannot annul it because they have an Aeneal spell bomb. We need to top deck really good. We need a really, really good top deck now. We didn't get the top, top deck we were looking for, but I still can surveil and look for a good card. Here, see, that's a blocker. That is indeed a blocker, but we need, we need to get Delirium, though, if you want to block with your C. And I'm going to lose so many creatures, though. I don't think it's the right choice. I need a bolt now. I mean, even if I get a bolt, though, they're never going to block. I need Molten to love. That's our only out. Please, Inti, do your job for once. Still got the DRC. I don't think that they're going to block. We play DRC. We play Shadow. And then... I should push now. I should push now. Otherwise, they're going to Eastern Speed or Kishbow Masters. I think I'm going to push Inti now. And we need sorcery artifact, anything like that. <laughs> I wanted that card. That's fine, that's fine. We can win. We can win. We jump block and then we go thundering eruption and we win, right? They're not attacking. That's good. That's good. That's a good thing. Got another DRC. Okay. If I play these. Creatures without flying can't block this turn. That means that even the creatures that are coming into play later cannot block. Creatures without flying. I think that the, that Orcish Bowmasters can actually block. They wait. They attack with both. They block Merkta. They block the DRC with the Merkta and then they block with the token. Ping me once and then to three. Then we play DRC. We block. Merktai, we take one. I think we cannot do anything better than that. Yeah, this is the best they can do. I'm quite sure that if I go Sundering Eruption now, the Orkish Bowmasters is going to, to be able to block. Block, block, sure. And this is going as planned. Don't go counter spell now, otherwise I'm going to be furious. Okay, that's good. Pass it here. Ah, they're going to kill me with just uh, an unlicensed Thirst top deck. Ah, I'm not even mad. This was, this was so close, though. Yeah, they're just going to exile my instant and sorcery, and then they attack me with the Merc Tide. It is still kind of risky for them, because I could have an instant, but I do not have an instant. So, sure. That was so sad, though. Last game, and we have a pretty good end. Should I go for another golf? We don't know the matchup. It's really safer to go for... um. Both turn one, but I'm kind of scared I'm facing Tron again. And we need to be fast against Tron decks. I'm not sure about this. I feel like I won another Golf turn one. 
but it's so risky. Uh, let's go for a thought seize. Force of negation. Teaching force of negation. Okay, that, that's aggressive. Lush particle. Ooh, that's living in. That is indeed living in. How do we win against this? We have Spellbomb main deck, so we just need to find the Spellbomb, right? I mean, sure. Subtlety? Do we have a subtlety as well? Pistol. I mean, usually Living End is not a bad matchup to Shadow. We're just getting bigger creatures overall. We can take a lot of damage and then earth them back. Okay, they go Subtlety. I think we are going to bottom this one and then I'm looking for... I don't know, I'm going to Surveil. They Peach the Curator of Mysteries. And yeah, we're going to bottom this one. Let's Surveil. Alt. Graveyard. We are so behind. If they manage to go living again now, I think we are almost dead. They cycle first. Cycle again. Four cards remaining in their hand. Land. And there's the Shardless Agent. Or then Plia, whatever. Uh, can we win? I mean, they have so many creatures and those are unblockable. So no, I don't think so. The Critter of the Guard? What? What is that? Okay. Um, sure. So we want Blood Moon, we want Dumpling Sphere? No, I don't think so. We want Neil Spell Bomb, Surgical is fine. And we don't want Push, we don't want any single target removal is actually bad against them. These two. And is this everything we've got against them? Dumping Sphere is not good at all. I could go for a Toxic Deluge. Take a lot of damage, get rid of anything they get back from the graveyard. I mean, let's try. Maybe Tarfire is just better at pushing damage. Uh, I guess we are going to keep this one. We are on the play, so Blood Moon should be okay. I'm going to cast Mishra's Bubble on myself. Toxic Deluge. It's too early for Toxic Deluge. This has to be Blood Crypt. Then we draw. We get in T. So I could play Death Shadow now to let her die and then we can go for the Profane and get back the Shadow. I think it might be the right choice, yeah. Let's go for that play. Because I'm still going to play Inti next turn and then hopefully land into Blood Moon. And that means that I have no spot available to cast the Shadow, right? So unless they have Endurance, which could Hurt me, we should be fine. Okay, thought seeds, that's a good card. Take graveyard, the force of negation, that's good. Um, I'm going to cast the thought seeds now. Okay. So they don't have answers for my blood moon. So we take curator of mysteries. I mean, they have, they have auto wire, but it's kind of slow. Five cards remaining. Ooh. <laughs> We drew the basic swamp, that's good. Our turn. turn. Next turn they can go land again with Tawara. And we have turns though to the nether goyf. Okay, no more ardent Leah. I'm just going to bottom the Inti, right? So they have seven damage in their graveyard. Play Nether Goyf. I'm going to play Mountain, pass the turn. We attack them for four or five if we cast the Inti, then they auto water my Blood Moon. They do the now. That's a problem. Maybe not. Why though? That's a good card now. I think I'm just going to attack and pass the turn. I mean, they could cast Shardless Agent. And we take seven damage, we kill everything. We lose the um, Street Wraith, but we still have Shadow. They don't want me to get my Shadow back, I don't get it. I do want to Tawara now. I honestly don't think I should play anything. They don't have fetch lands. I mean, whatever, do, do anything you want. want. Do you want to bounce my Blood Moon? Yeah, they do. That is... Interesting, because they, they still add mana to as the Shardless Agent. What are they waiting for? Okay. So that was their plan. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. We have Toxic Deluge. Obviously, I'm dead to another 
living again, that's true. But that was my best plan. I'm still going to cast another Blood Moon though, if I get the chance. Okay, that's good. We go DRC, Blood Moon, Surveil, no one called Seas, Force of Negation. Or flare of denial, okay. Suck four three. Please don't draw another Cardless Agent or Ardent Plea. Okay. Yeah, even Molten Collapse is not that great. I'll land. Okay. We do have lethal next turn. Uh should I get back the nether guy if you don't think so? Your turn. Please. One turn is all I'm asking for. Okay, nice. Do we really want Mage Bane Lizard or Dumping Sphere against them? We could go Pithy Needle on Otawara. I don't think that's the right choice though. Molten Collapse is just bad though. Let's get back the Tar Fire. You know, it's, it's useless. No lead is useless. Pyroclasm is useless. And the discards are not good. Okay, that's fine. So we do have a thought seize. Uh, I think we should probably keep the thought, keep this end and go thought seize. Maybe we go DRC first and cycle. Another thought seize. I mean, their turn two is not scary, so let's go DRC into double thought seize, and hopefully that's good enough. They kept the card on top. Maybe it was a basic island. Or it could be skid spell, let's see. Okay. Waker of Waves. They cannot really hide anything they get with the Waker of Waves, so they're looking for um a force of negation here. Endurance to the graveyard. Okay. And then they have a force. Okay, sure. We do have another thought system. I truly hope this is enough because I have nothing else to do. And that's not good enough. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um I mean they have two creatures, we get something back as well, so that's okay. They have endurance though, so that's not true. This is actually not true. What if I take Charles Agent? If they take Charles Agent, they get a creature back, but then they need another blue card to do. Another green card to cast endurance, right? Because if I take Ardent, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, they need to draw another green card anyway. Okay, we take the Ardent Plea. Uh, no, nah, it's not true. We take Shardless Agent. Yeah, if I take Shardless Agent, it should be a little bit better. We get Street Wraith, DRC, and Nether Goyf back. And they get Waker, Endurance, and Shardless Agent. We have a removal spell for the Shardless Agent. And we have Inti. Maybe this is still playable. Cycle Street Wraith. Is there any reason for them to wait? I mean, they could wait a turn. They're just going to cast Ardent Plea. They still have Recruiter of the Guard in their deck. My creatures are really small. Got a Vagvan. Wow. We're going to cast Inti. They have a creature with reach. I don't think I should attack right now. I could still kill this one and get my DRC as a 3 4, so that's not good enough because they have Waker of Waves. Am I just going to pass and take like 4 damage from this one? We can block here, take a lot of damage. Hmm. I think I should pass the turn. They're going to attack me with all, right? We should have. Okay, they took me just with that one. Yeah, that's four damage. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I guess we kind of have to kill that one. At least they gave us a good target for the thing. Uh, there's a bolt. Bolt is still not good enough to kill the speed wraith, though. I think I should graveyard the bolt. I need something like shadow plus phoenix. Okay, we got the shadow. We could give trample to the shadow. I think I'm going to talk with the DRC. Yeah, I think so. And I'm going to discard the Ragivan. 
this way it's not going to die another inti does it matter if i cast this inti i think i should just to get more creatures in the graveyard but that's not going to help us a lot sadly so you're going to do that though your turn we can also go lean and try to win but we are down to one so this is a 12 12 a 13 13 trample that sounds kind of good right they're going to take a lot of damage this turn actually block block not enough damage there. 12 12 actually yeah, sure. okay this is lethal <laughs> uh is it right uh we are kind of short though we have three four five we need six what if i just cast it as a hasty creature three four five yeah i cannot be so oh well let's try I, I, math is for blockers you know that we're just going to talk I think we don't have lethal here. Oh, we have the bolt. Ah. Keeping the bolt maybe was better. Oh, they have something. They have a subtlety. They could also have a subtlety. Or another endurance. They have another endurance. That's game, sadly. Witch fried, though. Witch fried. And we kind of got really close, though. Yep, we're going to deal them like six damage. It's okay. Okay, that's fine. Three two with this list. Nothing too crazy, but overall, I still like the list. I mean, it feels really good to just play Death Shadow Nether Goy and sometimes be able to give them flying. So yeah, if you like this archetype, you should probably try it out yourself. Thanks for tuning in once again. If you are interested in my Mardu energy guide, hook me up on X and I hope you enjoyed. See ya in the next video.